Driving by, I was always fascinated by this building's architecture. It looks like it was at some point full of life. Transforming spaces is at the core of what we do, right? We take these spaces and we convert them into hubs of energy, creativity, and inspiration for our members as well as the community around it. And along with transforming the buildings, what we wanted to do with this WeWork was to reflect its history. So the idea was to infuse a new spirit into the neighborhood and then grow the community around it. When we often look at real estate, we look at real estate which is overlooked. The intention is to look at it from a futuristic perspective and also ensure that the local businesses around our space thrive and gather the same kind of energy that we have in our buildings within our neighborhood. This deal has been a partnership in its true sense. We're sharing the costs as well as the revenues with our partners, that's our landlords. From the beginning, uh, the whole interaction has been an interaction of collaboration and cohesiveness from all stakeholders. Since the building dates back from the late 70s, there has been a lot of constraints in the restoration process, but then again, our designers strive on those challenges. This space has a lot of interesting details that are reflected both in plan and in elevation of the building. And apart from that, the light well, the atrium, creates an air of magic that breathes life through the building. So we wanted the courtyard to be a reflection of the biophilia in and around the neighborhood and to really bring it a warm local vibe. The vibrancy, the energy and the inspired workspace is really why enterprise companies are coming to us. One third of all Fortune 500 companies trust WeWork as their workspace provider. Uh, they want an environment that their employees can be the best versions of themselves.